Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, December 8th. It's the second week of Advent, and the scripture for this service. Psalm 36, Revelation chapter 1, verse 9 to 16. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Once He Came in Blessing. One who thus endureth bright reward secureth. Come then, O Lord Jesus, from our sins release us. Let us here confess you till in heaven we bless you. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The sins of the wicked whisper within their hearts. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Psalm 36, and please recite it with me. The sins of the wicked whisper within their hearts. There is no fear of God before their eyes. For they flatter themselves in their own minds until their hateful iniquity be found out. The words of their mouths are sins and lies. All wisdom is gone. They do no good. They plot mischief upon their beds. They set themselves on wicked paths. And they do not abhor evil. Your mercy, O Most High, is in the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains. Your judgments are like the deep. O God, you preserve us together with the beasts. How excellent is your loving kindness, and therefore your people find refuge in the shadow of your wings. They shall feast on the abundance of your house. They shall drink of the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to them that know you, and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. See how the workers of iniquity have fallen. They are cast down, and they shall not rise again. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. The sins of the wicked whisper within their hearts. There is no fear of God before their eyes. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 9. I, John, your brother, who share with you in Jesus the persecution and the kingdom and the patient endurance, was on the island called Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet saying, Write in a book what you see and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamum, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me, and on turning I saw seven gold lampstands. 
And in the midst of the lampstands I saw one like the Son of Man, clothed with a long robe and with a golden sash across his chest. His head and his hair were white as wool, white as snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and his feet were like burnished bronze, refined as in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and from his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun, shining with full force. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, and the living one. I was dead, and see, I am alive forever and ever. And I have the keys of death and of Hades. Now write what you have seen, what is and what is to take place after this. For as for the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. How excellent is your love and care for us, O God. Let us not be seduced by evil, but hide us in the shadow of your wings. For with you we find our very being. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever.